my neighbor, all right? This is like mainly about the hurricane that's about to come. He's boarding up his windows right now, and I'm like sitting here like, what? Like, I gotta do something. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. How you guys been? How you guys doing? Everything. Um, so I'm out here, Savannah still, and uh, but before we even get this video started, you know how I was saying about the flipping thing, I'm gonna challenge myself every single time so we're gonna try. I got the three buckets out there and see how quick I do it. Let's go ahead and start the day off with that. So guys, about to get started, no practice, no nothing. Get on the stopwatch. You guys see it right there. Let me get my pole ready. Literally no practice, I, I literally just walked outside. All right, stopwatch ready. One, two, three. That was so crazy and I'm so happy that this bad boy did not land on his lens. I literally said go and he just fell over. All right, we're gonna resituate this and get it rolling. All right guys, this is not the best camera angle but this is what we're gonna have to deal with because I do not want to break my lens. So uh, right here, zero on the clock. We're gonna start in three, two, one, go. Well, I stopped it a little late, but oh my god, 1851 is what I got. When I literally ran to it, it was like 16 something, but I don't know what I was doing. I was scared I was going to hit the reset, and I was scared I wasn't going to hit stop, but that's today's thing. So no practice beforehand. I actually haven't flipped in like a day or two, so... Um, I might just sit around for a second and just fool around flip a little bit then I'm gonna go out by the pond Maybe do a little bit of fishing because I haven't really fished out here either The thing is it's been raining. All right, the weather has been horrible lately. So it's actually been raining all day today I don't even know why I got sunglasses on so um, what we're gonna do I'm gonna just mess around real quick then I might go fishing for a little bit because I haven't got to it's been really sucky and uh I just want to catch a big fish like it's been so rough and I really just want to hook into a good one So guys going out here to fish right now I want to see if I can catch you guys like a daily there daily vlog fish so we're gonna see what we can do I'm not going to be throwing anything I mean look at look at the water that is like crystal zero wind nothing these fish have been weird lately I, like I said I haven't been out in a few days to fish but the weather's just been so bad and the days that I did fish, it's like, they were, it was really hard to get them to bite and if I caught one, it was one or two like small ones. Maybe we can come out here and hook a big one or maybe they're gonna start biting and if they did start biting, maybe I would pick up a different bait. But I do believe tomorrow is a full moon. So I'm debating if I should come out here and night fish um, with some top water and try to catch some big bass, but we'll worry about that later. Let's see if we can catch fish. That guy literally came like, he was going over those trees. That freaked me out. I like, heard something, I turned and I'm like by an airport, so I'm like used to playing, but not like a helicopter. That was, that was crazy. So guys, that bad boy right there. So my neighbor actually came out and told me that those helicopters spread chemicals and honestly makes the most sense ever. Like, I uh, didn't even catch on that until like, I thought about it, but I did do some research on it and they do have helicopters that, of course, like, I know most of you guys have heard of them, like I've heard of them. They spread chemicals like for mosquitoes and stuff like that. Um, and that's why I'm pretty sure you saw that it had stuff coming out the sides. It's my chemicals. I might sound really stupid right now, but I'm pretty positive that's what it is. You know, yeah, it could have been a regular helicopter, but why would it be going back and forth unless someone personally owned that? That's definitely spreading chemicals. So I'd like to talk to you guys about something. So our school, we're supposed to start the 11th of September. Super late, yeah, I know, it's just my college, is how it works. 
So we're supposed to start Monday, all right? Which today is Tuesday. You guys are seeing this Thursday. Monday, like, we're supposed to go back. And I received a phone call today and a text message, and it says that we have been delayed a whole week. So not only does that suck, but we're gonna have to make up like all those days. Like honestly, I don't mind going back for another week. That's fine with me, but like we're gonna have to make up those days, which just sucks. So um, the reason why is because the hurricane, the hurricane's like coming like right here. Supposedly it's like a stage five, like super bad, super brutal. Um, praying for everybody else that was in the hurricane um, down in Texas. But as you guys know, last year, Hurricane Matthew hit Savannah very bad. You know, there's a bunch of like horrible pictures on the internet. It's just sad. And I don't know what I'm going to have to do as in evacuating. I'm going to wait a few days, kind of see what's going to happen. Um, supposedly it's supposed to hit Monday and Tuesday. And I mean, I don't know how bad it's going to be. So I might end up going home, going to Fish Lanier. Um, or I might go somewhere. I just don't know what I'm doing yet. Or I end up, might end up staying here. I just don't know. But that hurricane is probably coming towards us. So that's, that is not good. And I just got this house and I'm hoping everything's going to be okay. Like I heard last year, Hurricane Matthew, um, when it came through, like people like around this area, um, like the wind was so bad and everything that they had to board up their windows because it would cave in and crack and all kinds of crazy stuff. So, you know, I'm kind of worried to be honest with you. It's getting a little dark out here. Let's go inside. So I just realized there was something wrong with the settings of my camera and that's why I was looking so dark. And like I came in here and hit the record button and it was like pitch black. But I want to say a special thank you to a uh, few people. So this company right here, I'm actually working with now. And I'm not just like, I don't like to do like stuff that looks like I'm a sellout and I'm not at all. Like. I'm just being honest with you. So I'm gonna tell you the story along with this company. It's called Surge, it's a supplement company. Most of you guys probably won't be like interested in this, but I wanna share a few things. So I was at the Bassmaster, no, I was at, I was at ICAST, all right? And I saw that they had a booth. And I used to be hardcore in the working out. Um, I fell off, you know, I lost around 40 pounds. And it was just because I was traveling so much and I just got lazy not going to the gym. And, Stopped eating as much because I lost my appetite because I wasn't in the gym and it just, I, I lost a lot of weight. So this company is actually called Surge. So they were at ICAST. I talked to the guy and I was like, yeah, dude, I used to do a lot of, um, I just was interested because I was like, wow, a supplement company at ICAST. So like I stopped by and I, I talked to him for a minute. I was like, okay, let me see some of your products. And he was like, show me around. And I tried it, sampled a few. I was like, holy crap, that tastes amazing. Well, he started me off with some of these Surge shots, which is like a little energy supplement that like you can buy at a gas station so he gave me a whole pack of these by the way but um when i saw him that day i talked to him for a long time i told him what i did and i was like dude this stuff tastes amazing do you mind if i try out some more stuff and um so he gave me some of those he also gave me some um aminos and bcas and he gave those in the grape flavor this is a whole different flavor but he was like call me in two months and let me know if you like it so i was like all right that's fair I use these products for, you know, around a month and a half, or around a month, I, I ran out. Like, it was amazing. You know, like, the flavor of this stuff's unreal. And um, I, I literally, I can't explain it. Like, I've been, I was, I've been working out for like four years. I've, I've gone through many of like amino products, pre-workouts, you know, protein, um, pump supplement, just the whole deal, all right? And I'm just being completely honest with you. If I have like a fan meetup or something, I'm gonna just contact him, see if he can get some of his products to be in there. Cause I want you guys to try them cause it tastes so dang good. Like it's ridiculous. It doesn't even, like when you're drinking like a pre-workout or something, it usually tastes all right, but you, you still kind of chug it real quick. Like this, I literally want to put it in a glass, stir it up and like just slowly sip on it. Cause it's that good. Um, this one's pina colada. Oh my God. Like. I, I just can't, this one's actually strawberry burst. This is my favorite. And then also the protein, very lean, um, is really good. I, I just, God, I cannot thank these people enough. And um, I'm actually working with them now. And um, I don't want to sound like a sellout, but I'm just being completely honest with you. You will not, like when he was talking to me, he was like, yeah, talk to me in like a month, two months. And he was like, you won't be disappointed. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go try them. If I like them, then I'll continue. Did I like them? Like, 
this is unreal. Like I'm really just sitting here thinking like this stuff just tastes unreal compared to all the other like supplements and other brands I've tried. And like I've been working out for four years. I've tried plenty of like aminos and protein and pre-workouts and like none of them have tasted anywhere close to as good as these flavors. I haven't tried all the flavors yet, but I just want to share this and do a little unboxing for you guys. So you got me 12 of these um, or two packs, two 12 packs of these shots. So these are like five five hour energy. Um, I said those taste phenomenal. Usually you like you want to slurp it down like dude they just taste so good. This is a lemon lime flavor. It's like it makes you want to sip on it. Um, this is actually a pump pump product. That's a uh, pina colada. This is a pre-workout by then and this is the uh, strawberry burst. That yeah. stuff tastes so dang good and uh, this is actually crisp green apple aminas. I haven't tried these yet because I'm still have some of the grape I've been slurping on and uh, so I haven't opened that one yet. And then we got the chocolate whey protein. I've actually went through like 15 scoops of that in the past, you know, week. And uh, no complaints. Tastes phenomenal. But these are probably crazy. They also give me a few shirts. Shout out to them. Go look them out. Uh, they actually also have a page on Instagram, Surge Outdoors. Go give them a follow. Thank you guys. I don't want to sound like I'm plugging something, even though that like might be how I sound right there. Like I'm sure it is. But I'm just being honest with you guys. Like I tried these products like... I, before I even like contacted the guy back like Literally like I tried him out for a month and I was just blown away. I was like taste amazing and uh, I was even sending him texts I was, like dude, this is really crazy um, I can honestly probably read you out the text. I sent him uh, a few days ago. So this is my text Dude, holy crap. I'm not gonna lie. These are the best supplements I've ever tasted I've been training for four to five years and I've been through many of brands and I have to say this is by far the best and I can't wait to start. I'm featuring this in a, in a vlog because I love the product so much. And I can't wait to start taking more of the other supplements. Like, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just being honest with you guys. Like, this just tastes absolutely amazing. If you guys are into working out, check it out. If not, you know, just, yeah, don't worry about it. But uh, I just wanted to show, like, a big thanks to that, um, the people at Surge because literally, like, they hooked me up and the products are awesome. And I'm getting my life back together getting back in the gym, trying to get healthy again. And um, I've been like consistent for like four, three, three weeks now. So it's been great. Um, no complaints, it's, it's just been awesome. I feel a lot better. I just want to throw that out at you. What's going on guys? Welcome to another day. It's so dark in here right now. And uh, today's the next day. I decided to pick up the camera. I didn't get to film much yesterday. So we're gonna be vlogging today. So um, let me show you something. So I was supposed to call these people, all right. I got these TVs from Best Buy. I didn't vlog this, but I actually bought two uh, 50 inch smart TVs and two flat mounts. So I don't watch TV much. I, I really don't. But I was just thinking to myself, I might as well buy the best of the best if I'm gonna buy it. And so I bought those two TVs. Um, honestly, they're pretty, pretty inexpensive. They're like 400 bucks a pop. Well, they had installment for electricians and everything as well. So of course I was gonna go ahead and pay for that. And it was like, an extra five six hundred dollars for them to install both of those tvs electricians hanging on the wall the whole deal they're going to do everything that's what the guy said supposedly at best buy that's what he told me like face to face i asked him all these questions i was like so when you mean installation do you mean just hanging them up on the wall or you mean electrician like the whole deal and he was like the whole deal and i was like all right awesome let's do that so i was spending like 1600 bucks on all that stuff and uh to get it all done well, I scheduled an appointment and they came out and they were like, yeah, we can only put them on the wall. We can't do it. And so like, I just got all mad and I, I was, I, I told him, I was like, um, well, the guy there told me, you know, you guys do everything. He's like, oh no, we don't. I guess he's like new working there. And I'm like, great. Like that just had to happen. So now I'm like 600 bucks in the hole wondering what to do because, and so I called an electrician out today, which was earlier this morning and he was looking at everything so he's gonna have to cut all into the wall i plan on putting one right there above the fireplace and one actually up in my room on the wall so it's just a big mess but i'm gonna have to have an electrician come out finish everything and then i can put the tvs up i'm gonna see if i can get my money back from best buy because like 600 bucks just to put those tvs on the wall there's no nah, that's not gonna happen so i want to talk about like the baits, since I'm, since I'm like adding something into a vlog, I think you guys would like to hear like more tips and stuff. And um, you know, when I go out to ponds and just little lakes in general, say the fishing's really tough, and I'm like, say my top three favorite baits if the fishing was rough, 
um, if the fish are just really lethargic, fish are really slow. Um, one really great bait, especially at ponds, because most ponds are very shallow. You know, you really don't find too many ponds where they're like deep. It's just a standard weightless worm. Just simple as that. Or a weightless Senko. Either one works phenomenal. Um, that's really good at ponds just because it's pretty shallow. You know, say like if I was going to take some friends out to a pond and they don't really fish much, I just want them to catch some fish. I usually hook them up with just like a standard weightless worm and just let them go out there and just throw it around. And most of the time you're going to catch fish. You know, it's very finesse, something that's easy to rig up, um, very inexpensive and uh, you can throw pretty much anywhere. That's something I really like, especially for ponds, because like I said, very shallow water. Um, you don't really need something that's gonna be like super heavy or anything. Especially as a weightless worm, you just let that thing fall. You throw it out there, let it fall. Just move it every once in a while. And just kind of let it sit. So you don't have to do too much with it, especially if people haven't fished before, you just let them throw it. Another bait is like a drop shot. I know I've talked about that a lot. Drop shot's just really effective on lakes, ponds, pretty much everywhere. Um, deep water, shallow water. Drop shot just catches a lot of fish in general. Um, that's really great. And then you can move on to your like standard shaky head or Texas rig. But that's like my standard baits if the fishing's pretty rough. Like out here on this pond right now, fishing's been pretty bad. It's not how it used to be, you know, a month ago. It's been really rough, but then again in September, you know, not the best fishing right now. And then all the weather has just been horrible. So that's what I think is a big reason. But uh, those are like usually the three baits I would throw like if it's super tough outside. By the way, you can feel this wind out here. It is like super, I mean, it's hard to tell by the water, but it is pretty bad. You know, the wind's not, that's like the best lighting, but it is so bright out. The wind's super bad because that hurricane's coming through. And guys, like I'm trying to figure out what to do. I'm thinking I'm gonna end up going home to Atlanta. I'm not sure yet, but that hurricane is like coming for us. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be too good on how they're like stating it. Today is, what is today? Wednesday and tomorrow, or today's Wednesday. It's supposed to be hitting Monday night at 8 p.m. I'm only getting phone calls from the school. Like they shut down school for a week. And just all this stuff. And it's gonna be pretty bad. So this hurricane is just right towards us. So I'm trying to figure out what to do. I'll probably end up grabbing the boat and turn back up to Atlanta. So this vlog has been like nothing but updates, but it's gonna just have to continue. Well, my neighbor, all right, this is like mainly about the hurricane that's about to come. He's boarding up his windows right now, and I'm like sitting here like, what? Like, I gotta do something. Like, I have to make something happen. I'm debating what I should do. He said last year it was a stage two, like a low stage two. And this time it's like a moderate stage three. And he said last year it did like make his windows buckle. Um, I'm kind of sketching out. Like I, I don't know what to do. I don't know if tomorrow I should spend all day boarding them up and then head to Atlanta or figure out what I should do. Um, it's gonna be rough. I'm just kind of freaking out. Just trying to debate what to do. But this thing's coming. I mean, it's coming full force. There's a picture. I actually have dinner cooking. My phone's over there. Um, there's a picture where it shows like five counties in the. Uh, the east coast of Georgia that are going to be like really dangerous and Chatham County which is here in Savannah is one of them so it's not looking too good for us overall guys thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to smash the like button be sure to comment below be sure to subscribe sub, be sure to grab be sure to subscribe if you haven't already hit the little bell if you haven't already checked out Tuesday's Tackle Tuesday video. Go check it out. Stay tuned for Sunday's video because it is going to be insane, guys. Like, I put a lot of work into it, and it's going to be just insane. So stay tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for the support. Be sure to share my videos with your friends, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Seven, an understatement to my day-to-day. -day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. Yeah. Naya said, say it ain't no way.